Young World, LOD321, LOD versus the internet. Yo, put on your rain boots, bulletproof vest, and helmet to protect yourself because, yo, Kevin Hart went up on the Breakfast Club and destroyed Cat Williams. I mean, he was going at Mike Epps and a little bit of Michael Blackson too, but really Cat Williams, he went up there in beast mode. Usually Kevin Hart be happy, you know what I'm saying? The funny little fun guy no matter what. Today was the first time I've really seen Kevin Hart in like super serious mode. And he let slip the fact that he got $40 million for Netflix to do two specials. He slipped that up in there, which is um, an enormous amount of money, you know what I mean? But he said about Cat Williams coming at Tiffany Haddish. But all the frustration, I noticed, I, I, I look at everything and like I look deep into stuff, too deep sometimes. I don't know if he really was triggered because at one point, I think it was um, Angela Lee or Charlamagne, one of them said that he was talking about the new movie coming out, Night School. One of them said that Tiffany Haddish was the star of the movie. And I think that rubbed Kevin Hart the wrong way on that low. Like, that's just what I seen. I could be wrong, but it looks like that that triggered something inside him to come out in beast mode. Because before that, he was cool. But they said that Tiffany Haddish is the star shit, and Kevin Hart flipped the script and just started blacking. Put all his frustration out towards Cat, towards, um, Cat Williams, which is rightfully so, because if you don't know, Cat Williams was talking mad junk about Tiffany Haddish, Kevin Hart, Rail, a couple other people, I think, um, the car Michael dude. But man, Kevin Hart was up there beasting. I was like, damn, he was a good 10, 15 minutes straight let Kevin Hart, he let, let Cat Williams have it, you know what I'm saying, emptied out the whole entire full clip on him, then reloaded, let it out some more, you know what I'm saying, but it was, it was a good interview though, because he never really see Kevin Hart in that fashion, but um, he said, you fucked up, you made the mistakes, you was on top, you dropped the ball, you know what I'm saying, he was just going off on Cat Williams, it was all true though, you know what I mean, it definitely was true, because Cat Williams messed his life up with the drugs and doing all kind of crazy stuff getting arrested over and over and over even if you want to say the illuminati whatever had something to do with cat williams falling off because some of the stuff he said could be true but at the same time he definitely didn't help his own situation by the way he was acting throughout the years you know what i mean but go keep the interview kevin hart was on there beasting <laughs>